Well, it has certainly been tough going for hog farmers since 1998. And it's only gotten tougher in the last year. Yes, a new virus has killed millions of hogs nationwide, which has the industry on edge. News 10's John Swanner talks to one Valley hog farmer who offers his insights on how this virus could affect you. This is the West Pork Nursery in Clark County, Illinois. It's what hog farmers call a wean to finish operation. They take in what are called wiener hogs. They come in 18 days old, weighing 12 to 13 pounds. They'll stay here six weeks and leave 55 to 60 pounds, moving on to what's called a finishing unit. There's a lot of hard work involved in raising hogs. The porcine epidemic diarrhea, or PED virus, has made that work that much tougher. It's a tough one. It's come on, you know, roughly a year ago, and it's took everything by storm. Terry Walsh has been raising hogs his entire life. He's seen a lot of viruses come and go in that time, but nothing as devastating as the PED virus. While the virus attacks all pigs, piglets are most vulnerable. Death loss in them, uh, you know, can be 75, 80 percent or better. So how is this virus affecting you at home? Well, simply put, you're going to be paying more for your pork chops for the foreseeable future. And Terry says a drop in prices may not come until a vaccine for this virus is developed. So far, there's no vaccine for the PED virus. Meanwhile, the hog market has rallied 40 to 50 percent with no end in sight. Terry told me he likes a good challenge. Keeping hogs alive during this virus outbreak will certainly challenge hog farmers. We try to do everything we can here, but uh, you know, it's there's only so much you can do, and uh, that's just part of raising hogs. In Clark County, Illinois, with photojournalist Ryan Delaney, I'm John Swanner, News 10. To help combat all diseases, Terry says his trucks used to haul hogs are power washed every night. According to the American Association of Swine Veterinarians, PED does not affect humans, nor is it a food safety concern. 